Hey, what's up? It's Matt, and there's some weird YouTube drama going on right now that I want to talk about. I usually don't like to involve myself with drama, and if you watch me, you just know that I'm generally a happy person, but stuff has been going on that I feel like I can't ignore. Here are some things that have been happening. Channels like Alternate History Hub and Channel Awesome haven't been able to monetize their videos, and in some cases have been denied other privileges, like making videos longer than 15 minutes. Channels like Grade A Under A are getting their videos age-restricted for showing clips of prank videos that have punches in them, even though the original clips don't have age restrictions. Other creators, including the humongous and influential Philip DeFranco, are getting their videos removed for calling out fake pranks, while reaction channels like Jinx have no repercussions for literally playing other people's videos in their entirety on their channel, and some channels like I Hate Everything were just entirely suspended for getting a single copyright strike on something that probably fell under fair use. And then of course there's the whole Fine Brothers React business, which has been, I feel like, talked to death in the past couple of days. This is crazy and not right. Channels, mostly smaller ones, but big ones too, are getting strikes and copyright penalties for committing things that other channels are doing except they're not getting any sort of repercussions. I want to focus on two specific things. What this means in terms of trends and YouTube and creators, and also how it's applying to my community, the education informational sphere of YouTube. So it seems like the trend here is that bigger, more powerful channels like prank channels or media networks or even the Fine Brothers are using YouTube's copyright and content ID systems to basically take down or flag or obstruct other channels. And while this isn't true for every flagged or obstructed creator, it seems like a lot of those creators are specifically right now calling out other channels for doing things that are unethical or wrong or stupid or fake. When free speech is repressed, well, that's what authoritative, dictarian, totalitarian regimes rely on. They control the media to suppress dissenting opinions. I don't think YouTube is doing this intentionally out of malice. I think if YouTube knew what was going on, they would stop it immediately because these aren't the principles upon which their platform was founded. I just think that YouTube's content ID system and copyrights and flagging and all that stuff is automated to the point that it can be abused and that's what we're seeing. I hope that's the case. If it's not, this conversation might have to continue, though I really don't like making a video like this. The second major thing that I wanted to say is that this drama, if you can call it that, has largely been happening outside of the educational community. Seriously, with the exception of the Alternate History Hub, I really haven't seen any of this drama happening within this community of YouTube creators. And there have even been creators who've called out people like Hank Green on SciShow for producing incorrect information, and instead of a takedown, we see an apology video. Hello, I'm Hank Green, and this is SciShow. So we made a video about this once before, but some of the studies we cited turned out to be bunk, and in general, I think we played our cards too close to our chest when it comes to how we really feel about genetic engineering here at SciShow. I don't exactly know why it is. Maybe it's because we're not using other people's content as much. Maybe it's because we're not calling out other people's content as much. Maybe it's because just, if you're in the education community, you have this desire to put out good information and good quality stuff, regardless of how much you grow? I don't know the reason. But I do know that I really haven't seen this at all in this community. As far as I can tell, this is a very pure and welcoming community, and that's one of the reasons I genuinely love it. However, even if the education community feels good and feels safe, what's happening in the other parts of YouTube is still important and relevant to talk, to talk about. If other channels are not allowed to monetize or upload long videos, or having their videos age restricted, or taking down, or losing their entire channel without any rhyme or reason, with one copyright strike, with a guilty until you're proven innocent system, that could happen to anyone. It could happen to me, and I'm not gonna lie, it, like making this video is kind of terrifying for that reason. J uh, okay. <laughs> I didn't think this was a problem. I didn't want to get sucked into this, but I I really, like if you create on YouTube, you honestly kind of need to pay attention to this. And frankly, even if I knew the stuff that's going on weren't going to extend into the education sphere, I'd still feel compelled to speak out about this because it doesn't matter if it's happening in my specific sub community or not, this stuff is wrong. This stuff shouldn't be happening to people. And again, I don't think this is happening out of malice, but this system needs a serious update, potentially an overhaul, human, components to it to determine the correct copyright claims from the bullcrap, and it just needs to serve the people that I really believe YouTube wants to serve. The creators like you and me, whether you have a hundred times my subscribers or one hundredth of my subscribers, which would be four hundred. No, forty. Math. Wow, this is easily the most <laughs> aggressive and fired up I've been in a video. But it was important, it needed to be said, and now I'm grabbing my hair like John Green. Um, yeah, that's that's all I gotta say right now. Brother, I'll keep thinking about what I want to use as an outro because people keep complaining about it, so let's see what happens. I'll see you later.